If you suffer with loose dentures or you are embarrassed to smile because you have missing teeth, here's how many dental implants will change your life. I was in a car accident and ate a fractured jaw. I have four teeth missing in the back. I couldn't hide it any longer. I'm gonna go and get this done. Cause you don't wanna go around without teeth. Getting the many dental implants was a life changer for me. It looks natural, it feels natural. It's more affordable. Very affordable. It's well worth it. It doesn't hurt. What pain. Now I can chew like real people. I don't have to put all the, the goo on. With these, I can eat everything. I don't have to worry about being embarrassed going to a restaurant. I wish I would've got it done a long time ago. It's the best decision I ever made. It hasn't made my life easier, it sure has. Many dental implants have changed my life. I feel a lot more confident, my smile feels better. They gave me my dignity back. It's been fantastic. It's been wonderful. Now I have my smile back and that's really nice. It's just so much better. I do smile. A lot now. My dental implant has changed my life. I'm excited to be me again. Well, now I don't have to worry about it. I can laugh however I want. <laughs> I love it. Welcome to Innovations in Health. I'm John DeShulo. Welcome. We're joined by Dr. Sandra Lowe. Doctor, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, John. We are talking about the mini dental implant. It is a dental procedure that can change your life. It's five times less. It's five times less invasive less discomfort, less healing time, less visits to the dentist, less expensive. You have some models here that can get us going. And uh, the mini dental implant, let's start with the lower denture. If a patient has a denture, how the mini dental implant can change their life. Traditionally, what happens is that we have this lower denture and it's supported basically by the bone in the gums. And uh, the base is really, really big because there's nowhere for here to adhere to. But these mini dental implants will take that lower denture and make it secure. Absolutely, so if you put, um, say like four in this case, you can snap this on and it will be very secure. Okay. And now the patient has total control and they feel more confident about being able to manipulate their food instead of trying to retrain the muscles to grab something that has no foundation. And when we talk about a denture versus the mini dental implant, we're talking about, folks, a titanium post that goes into the bone, in Absolutely. the gum, and it doesn't need that much bone, and the denture or the tooth will adhere to that post so it's very secure, unlike the usual denture that kind of floats over the gum and you have all that goop that tries to keep it in place. The bone gets impacted by it and it's never quite secure and it's always something that I would think makes the individual feel less confident about their smile and their ability to eat and enjoy life. Yeah, well, it's, it's another thing that they have to worry about, right, John? Absolutely. I mean, they're trying to get on with their lives and, and now they've got something else to worry about and the insecurity of having something floating in their mouth is, uh, um, it's, it's a distraction. And not only that, I mean, the added fact that they have to uh, add this uh, goop in their mouth and, you know, it's trying to secure it and um, it's swimming around in there and now they've got sore spots and all kinds of things, tissue, uh, you know, abrasion. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, not a good thing. So we'll throw out the dentures, yes. but in addition to the lower, there's the upper, and you have an example of how the upper is impacted by the mini dental implant. Show us that. Right, so when we put mini dental implants in the upper jaw, um, usually we put about um, six to eight of them for security. We're able to snap this on, and uh, now we're able to remove the palate. That right. plastic piece that generally is there is removed with the mini dental implant on the upper denture. See here, we can just remove this whole entire piece of plastic and now the tongue has access to the whole palate. So now the taste buds come out, they come alive. Right, they can taste the food now, they can chew, and not only that, they can enunciate properly and they can also breathe properly, believe it or not. And we I talked have, about that, that's right, that sometimes the denture can impact your life, not only with the eating and the chewing, but also the breathing, and, and you're right, you want to speak properly. Right, because a lot of the times when you have this big plastic piece, people can gag, and where they're gagging, they can't hold the denture in, and when that happens, they can't breathe. And if you can't breathe, you're not getting oxygen into your body. So if you're not getting oxygen into your body, you're not operating to the optimal uh, ability that you can possibly, and, and that can really impact people like singers or sports people, where they really, really have to have a lot of oxygen to perform. And here in New York City, we have so many wonderful restaurants, thousands of restaurants in Manhattan alone, and you know, let alone the boroughs and everywhere here in the, in the great metropolis. So you wanna be able to enjoy your food, imagine, biting into a great steak at one of the great steakhouses in the city or an ear of corn or any kind of food or fruit that you want to really enjoy. This mini dental implant, particularly if you have dentures, brings that back 
And it's not just the dentures. You have an interesting example of what we call the Fix on Six. Tell us about that. Right. The, the Fix on Six is a, a, a really great uh, invention because um, now we can actually remove all the plastic that was around the original dentures and secure it on more implants. Not only that um, we can remove all the plastic, we can actually make these teeth in porcelain. So these teeth, it, it is as if you're getting another full set of teeth. Correct. And the plastic is gone from the dentures and these are once again fixed right onto the titanium post Correct. that goes into the gum. And that fix on six, those are American made teeth. That's porcelain you said. That's right. Um, you can have porcelain on the zirconia base and uh, we can customize that to um, however um, you like. Well, and, you know. and they are up for whatever New York can send its way, right? Absolutely. And now you have another example, which I guess we would call the premium mini dental implant. Yeah, this is the, I guess, the Mercedes-Benz of uh, all of these appliances here. And uh, in this case, we are really securing the denture now. That's the beauty of this because, um, because it doesn't require a lot of bone. You can actually put so many more to secure your appliance. And that's why we're able to support an entire arch of dentition in porcelain. And you cement that right into the titanium Absolutely. post, into the gum. So only yes. you can really take care of it. That's right. Dr. Sandra Lowe is located, by the way, everybody, at 115 East 61st Street, in the, right here in the city. And the number is 212-752-1430. And the website is nyminidentalimplants.com. Again, NY mini dental implants.com we'll have that uh, phone number and all of that web information a little bit later so get your pen and paper ready i wanted my smile back like i had when i was a younger person i had my procedure a few months ago and it went great uh, no problem i love them i i truly thought that it would be very very painful and i was amazed that it it, it only took a little over an hour and when i went home i i could basically eat everything again Everyone notices, you know, that I smile more and, and uh, my confidence is, is better now than it ever has been. And, and they just are amazed how, you know, how it changed my whole life. You have another example right on the end there because a mini dental implant can impact somebody that just has a few teeth, maybe on the side or in the back, that sometimes people say, well, it's in the back and no one sees it but it is important. Oh, it's absolutely important because the back teeth, not only do we need them to, for chewing, they are the anchors of your entire dentition. And you want to form your mouth so that the, the mouth and the smile right. are in place. Right, you want to make sure that um, you're able to uh, anchor the entire mouth. So show us a few of the teeth that come out just on that side. So okay. it comes out. So you remove this and you can see we've put in um, four mini implants and that's able to support a uh, uh, a three unit bridge here. And a single tooth. So if somebody has a cosmetic issue, say there's some tooth decay, they have an injury of some sort, show us how a single tooth can be impacted. There it here is. Here we go. You have a single tooth in here and uh, you can just uh, cement this uh, little guy in here and uh, he looks as, uh, as natural as any other of the teeth. And these teeth are crafted here in the United States, made in America, and they're made just for the patient. That's right. Talk to us, uh, Dr. Lowe, about some of the patients that you have had that have had the mini dental implant experience. It's changed their life. Dr. Lowe is a wonderful dentist. She's attentive, she's understanding, she's kind, and best of all, she's absolutely painless and she does a beautiful job. I have never looked forward to going to the dentist as much as I do since I've started with Dr. Lowe, and I have a beautiful smile to prove it. Let's talk about the cab driver that came in Okay. and uh, the experience that he had coming into your office. Well, he, he was quite interesting because he parked his cab downstairs and he came to my office because uh, um, one of his uh, friends is a current patient of mine and uh, he actually came to use the facilities. However, he had some time to stop and chat with uh, some of my staff and uh, he realized that um, he, this could be beneficial towards him. However, he's so busy, he has no time. So we said to him, you know what? We could put this in your mouth within the hour. You know, everybody in New York, we're all so busy. You know, we're everywhere. We're, we're running around town. We're on the subway. We're in our cab. That's we're right. in our car. We're enjoying right. the, you know, all the sights. 
but you have a patient base that's busy, so you want to make sure that they are taken care of quickly and efficiently, and you can do that right in your office. Yeah, we have the, um, the technology, and we have the staff, and we have the know-how, because we've completed the education, and uh, we're all excited about the mini implant, because it's such a game changer, but it's, it's just a phenomenal um, implant that uh, uh, you can do so much with it. It's small, it's versatile, it's, it's just amazing. The five times less we should mention, less invasive, less discomfort, less healing time, less visits to the dentist, less expensive, and as we talked about before, you know, the patients that you see, some of them are professionals. That's right. You know, they're moving uh, into their careers and they're advancing and uh, this is an opportunity for them to look their best. So if they do have a dental problem, they should come in for that consultation. That's right, and I, I can actually bring on um, uh, an example. Um, I, ha I had a nurse who came into my practice. She was referred to me, and she had a flipper for a long time. What's a flipper? A flipper is a plastic appliance that replaces teeth. So she was on a surfing um, uh, event, and she had an accident, and four of her lower teeth fell out. Mm. The, the four teeth were uh, being replaced by um, this prosthetic, and uh, this was just an extra baggage for her to think about. She came in and she said, you know, Dr. Lowe, can you do something for me? The, the first option would be um, a six-unit bridge, but you know what? I didn't have the heart to cut her teeth. And then um, I thought about maybe putting in uh, two, um, two conventional implants to support three. But that wouldn't look right aesthetically because that space houses four teeth. But then she told me she was getting married shortly. And I said, you know, this, this would not work. She needs something that's uh, really, really aesthetic. So I said to her, you know what, let's do four mini implants. And we placed those four mini implants in, in you know, very short space of time, she was ecstatic. This is what is so exciting about your practice. You're working with the patients mm -hmm. directly, one-on-one, -on -one, for the very best dental care that they can get. And if you'd like to meet Dr. Sandra Lowe, you can at 115 East 61st Street, New York. And uh, the number, 212-752-1430. The website, nyminidentalimplants.com. And, and you work with patients on, uh, on payment plans so that if somebody comes in, you'll have a consultation with them to talk about how, the, how they will be able to finance the mini dental implant. Absolutely, because um, I have staff who are well trained in um, finance and we work with a few uh, financial services and uh, my, um, my staff will um, be advocates for the patients and uh, they are very creative, they are very well versed in insurance and they will find um, ways to make uh, the patient's dream become a reality. And that way you can make sure that your look is the best that it can be, that your life experience right here in New York can be the best that it can be. Why shouldn't it be? Because you want to make sure you feel good, you can eat and enjoy life and, and enjoy food. We talked a little bit with that patient that you just discussed about the conventional implant versus the mini dental implant. The conventional implant, there's a, a larger hole right. that uh, has to happen where the mini dental implant is a smaller hole. Right, if you look at this uh, lower jaw, you can see that this, is, uh, for a, this hole is for a uh, conventional implant and this hole is for a mini implant. So you see now you'll need more bone for the conventional implant. Absolutely. And they are more expensive. They are more expensive. And um, if um, you don't have enough bone, then you can't possibly put in a conventional implant. Yeah, you have to go through a grafting you process. To, you have to go through grafting. I mean, do you really want another procedure that requires a block graft yeah. or ridge expansion to add more bone or maybe sinus lifts? So, you know, with what little bone that you, you do have left, then maybe we could put a mini implant which requires very, very little bone. And it's uh, less invasive. Less invasive and yes. less discomfort, less healing time, less visits to the dentist. Not right. that we don't want to come and see you, Dr. Yeah. Lowe. And, uh, and less expensive. We yeah. talked about the pricing. Let's talk about the care of the mini dental implants. So now somebody has this, they've gone through the procedure, they've come into your office. How do you care for the mini dental implant? Well, we want to make sure that th this is going to last as long as possible for them. So usually we have them come in and they join our recare program where they have an hour with our hygienist. Mm -hmm. And the hygienist will go through the, the cleaning process, and uh, especially with uh, dentures. But um, generally, the, the hygienist will explain to them and go through role playing with them to make sure the um, maintenance is hammered home. And a water can, pick may, may make sense. Yeah. For this, yeah. And uh, then we offer them either a water pick or a hydrofloss where they 
they can um, remove uh, gross debris at home, and uh, th you know, and then they would come back and on a six-month basis for the general recare. And we should mention these are FDA approved. This is a procedure that uh, is really amazing, but yes. it is FDA approved. Correct. You've been doing these now since 2010, I believe. That's right. Um, the FDA has approved it for safety and efficacy, so um, that's why we're doing it. And we talked about how all ages can benefit from the mini dental implant. You know, maybe That's starting right. at age 16, kind of 16 moving up. 16, or even they can go a little bit younger, actually. But yeah. um, we haven't had many of those. But uh, you know, a lot of my uh, um, uh, other uh, uh, doctors have been placing them up to. A hundred. Interesting. Yes. Now, well, then let's talk about that because a lot of the seniors have, yes. dent, have dentures, like we discussed, and you have a very interesting personal story because you want to help your mom, who's 84 years old right. and battling osteoporosis. You want her to have the kind of smile that she should have. Yes, I think she deserves it. She raised us. She did everything possible to get us through life, and uh, now we're in a position where we're able to help and. Uh, um, I, you know, we want to give back, and when, when I hang out with my mother, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting, eating with her. I can see her struggle. I can see that she's trying to grapple these dentures with her facial muscles, and you know, the whole, uh, you know, she's trying to grab these, and, and I, I just see that she, she's having a hard time, and she's really putting on a brave face to show me that this, this is okay. But you know, deep inside, I, I really think that, um, you know. I can actually do something for her, and uh, I haven't told her that yet, but I actually can do something for her. Well, if she watches Innovations in Health, she's going to find out, Dr. Lowe, so. <laughs> that's right, but, yeah. but um, hopefully she doesn't, so it would be a surprise, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, I think that's, that's terrific, and, you know, and it does speak to the fact that it could be any age. It could be any age, because the thing is that um, uh, you don't want to give them too much trauma, okay, um, when they're older. And uh, the, the reason being, when they're older, the immune system is lowered, and you don't really want to do um, a long-drawn surgery on them. You don't want to do um, ridge, ridge expansions and grafts, and these are so long-drawn. And when you um, do surgery on them, you need to, uh, you, they have to go through a healing process and then recovery. And it, it, it's, it takes forever for these people. But with the mini implant, you can just, you know, Go in there, no scalpel, no suture, hardly, maybe no, no, no graft. And you can just put this pinhole in there, you thread the, the screws in there, the, the mini implants in there, and uh, then you can put a prosthesis on top. They could be eating that night. They, it, that's an amazing uh, point you need to make because you can go right into the office, yeah. have this done same day, Correct. and you're home and experiencing life with, with a brand new set of, of teeth or a tooth or a denture. When I came, I had a very challenging set of teeth hailing from British dentistry um, and throughout my time visiting here I've had full confidence that she has my dental health um, and my best interests at heart. Um, Dr. Lowe has even given me her personal phone number and told me to call at any time if I have any pain. It's that kind of attentiveness and follow through and care that's really um, really separates this practice from a lot of the other places I've been to in the past. And I think the best testament has been I just came out of finishing up a root canal just now and I can talk clearly with a smile like I am. So um, yeah, it's a great practice. <laughs> And one of the things, too, we should talk about when we say it's less discomfort, a lot of people just use sort of an over-the-counter pain medication to get through maybe a night uh, with, with pain that might come with it. But it's really not as significant as people would think. No, it's, it's not that significant at all. I mean, you know, recently I had, a, I had somebody come into my office. It was a front tooth. And uh, um, he, uh, he was nervous as hell. And he was wearing a flipper also. And uh, he came in and... Uh, um, it's <laughs> funnily enough, you know, John, he texted me just before he came in. That he was he, nervous he, by he coming in? He was very in? nervous. I remember you were he saying he was me, Was he pacing the floor coming in and right, out? He said to me on text that I need to give him as many drugs as possible. And then shortly after, he gave me a following text. And he said, um, he said he doesn't even want to remember coming to my office at all after the procedure. And I had laid out a surgical prep for him. I was going to put a conventional implant in mm. his mouth. And that would have taken an awful long time. It would have. And not only that, I would have to worry about aesthetics and, you know, and so forth. However, I looked out into the waiting room and I saw that he was very, very anxious, pacing up and down. And I said, I can't do this to him. So I seated him into the chair. I switched my, uh, my setup to a mini implant setup and we were done in no time. And how did he feel after that? 
he actually thought it was a joke, believe it or not. <laughs> he <laughs> he didn't it, believe it. He did not believe it at all. But, he, but it was happening, and it was, it was that, happening, that fast. It was done. He had a tooth in there. And then um, he said to me, he was so happy that he was willing to give me a testament based upon that. I like the idea when she talked about the mini implant to me over the conventional implant because it's much less evasive. And I can see that the work is going to get done a lot sooner and I'm gonna go through a lot less pain as a result of having the mini implant. She always looks at the patient first. It's what's good for the patient. And she doesn't just do something as a snapshot. She's a perfectionist. So she looks at the whole mouth and whatever procedure she does today, she's looking to see how it's gonna affect down the road. I'm very happy to be here and uh, I'm looking forward to getting this done sooner rather than later and I'm very pleased with what she's done so far. That's terrific. Yes. And it's, isn't it interesting, Dr. Lowe, when you meet your patients, I'm sure there are so many more too, that you've changed their life. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel really good and you know I can tell you another situation. Sure. I had a construction worker who came to my office and he actually had traditional implants and um, what happened was he came to my office and the traditional implants were in his hand. They were all cleaned up and everything. And so I he brought his teeth into your office? In his hand. The, out of his mouth, in his hand? Yes. And, and what did I you see? Would you look at these teeth? Well, I sat him down and I said, you know what, there's one more thing I can do for you. And, uh, but you have to be very strict with cleaning, etc. So what I did was I put in eight mini implants in his mouth and I delivered a denture. And what happened was that after I delivered that denture, I really, really wanted to tape his reaction. It was just so personal, I could not videotape that. So we just uh, let him have his moment. And I was having a personal moment myself, believe it or not. And uh, while that happened, um, I was just thinking, wow, you know, words cannot express right there, you know. And um, straight after, I gave him a huge hug, and he gave me one too. And that in itself spoke volumes. That's an amazing story, Dr. Lowe. It's yes. an amazing story. How long have you been a dentist? I've been a dentist for 23 years. I'm, uh, I came from England. Okay. I was first a pharmacist. And uh, I decided I wanted to do something where, um, uh, that I like to do, which is being creative. And, uh, and you, you know, you want to hear a funny story sure. how I became a dentist? I was going to the dentist a lot in England. Did you have bad teeth? or? I was eating a lot of candy. Mm -hmm. I live next door to a candy store. Oh, that'll do it. And I was in and out the dental office a lot. And uh, I had a lot of dental issues. But it wasn't until I came to America that one of my silver fillings came out. And that was really kind of, um, uh, kind of frightening. And then I had to go for a root canal. And uh, after the root canal, I said, I really need to know what this is all about. And then that's how I enrolled in dental school. And after dental school, I realized that, you know, there's a lot of help to be done out there. And this was one way that I can contribute. And you worked in some hospitals, I understand, before establishing your practice here in New York? Right. I worked in Beth Israel. And uh, um, that was great because I saw all different peoples, all different disciplines, all different case scenarios. Um, we did uh, different treatment plans, complex treatment plans. That's why I think that the mini implant can be part of all those treatment plans. I don't think that um, you can just do like maybe conventional or minis. I think there's a place for both of them. Mm -hmm. And in some cases in my practice, some of the treatment plans involve both, depending on what the requirement is as per the patient. So if somebody's watching this now, and maybe they have a dentist that they're already going to, You'll accept them as patients. You'll bring them in and you'll, and you'll consult with them because there are other things that you offer in your practice as well as the mini dental implant. That's right. I mean, if nothing else, the education and the, the, the knowledge is, uh, is uh, huge. And the wonderful thing about that, because we do have a broad um, variety of services, we were able to look at the whole picture comprehensively and decide what does the patient need and specifically zone in to um, very custom treatment plans depending on the requirements of each person. And you have that 3D, the imaging technique now, That's so right. that someone that does come into the office, you can, through the most advanced technology available, is the best technology that Dr. Lowe has, you can really look at that 
situation and, and make that determination, like you That's said, right. custom fit. That allows us to be very creative, yeah. knowing where the bone is and where to place the implants and where not to put the, the implants and where they can have the best function. And uh, it, it's just uh, phenomenal. Well, we're happy to have you here in New York City. I mean, and, and thankfully, that root canal from the candy shop brought you into the world of dentistry. <laughs> and now think all these years later, all the technology. And I, you know, one of the things I think people feel a little apprehensive about if you're going to the dentist you know they always fear the pain and certainly they you know look at the costs but they should dispel that myth they should look beyond that so if somebody is out there watching and you have a dental issue or a problem a tooth you don't look your best you're, you're getting into a relationship you want to start a new job you're, you're starting your life here in new york or you've been here forever and you want to move forward coming in and getting the mini dental implant and the consultation with Dr. Lowe is something yeah. that will help you move forward. It's an investment in you and that's okay, isn't it? Because you want to look your best. You absolutely want to look your best, especially in New York. Yeah. So if uh, you have uh, questionable teeth that are hopeless or you have a denture that you don't like or you're destined to have a denture or you have missing teeth and you want to do a procedure that's fast and less uh, invasive, quick recovery time, and not so expensive. The solution really is the mini implants. And you have, and a, very, you have a very detailed way of going about it too. So it's a custom, uh, custom design program for the patient. And we'll give you the information one more time. Dr. Sandra Lowe is at 115 East 61st Street here in New York. The number 212-752-1430, the website nyminidentalimplants.com. And before we go, Quickly, doctor, people that have just joined us here on Innovations in Health, you, they're seeing the models in front of you. Right. Uh, we'll go through it one more time. Show okay. us the, the lower denture. If you have a lower denture, here's what the mini dental implant can so do. So if you have a lower denture, then we can put four implants in here or more, and we can secure that. And it so snaps in place. snaps in place so that you can have the confidence that you originally had. If you have an upper denture, here's another example. If you have an example. upper denture, here's another example. You can put four. Um, actually, we usually put six or eight, and you can snap on this. We can remove the palate area, which is an obstruction to taste and feeling and of you food, and uh, you can breathe better, and also you can pronunciate better. And the next is the, the what we call a fix on this six. This is the fix on six, and this is um, a really nice uh, appliance because you can really eat with these like your own because it is zirconia. This is porcelain. And it's whatever yes. God is gonna throw at it, you got it, and life can take, you can handle it. And there's no plastic or flange to, to get in your way. Plastic it, it gets just, out of the way. Yeah, yeah, this feels just like your own. And the, the, the most premium mini dental implant is the next example, which is the roundhouse, the full. The roundhouse is a really, really nice uh, uh, piece of art, actually. And uh, um, if uh, you really want the best of the best, the ultimate, this is uh, what you would go for. And that's cemented right in as if you have a brand new set of teeth. Yes. And then yeah. uh, the smaller example at the end with just a few teeth in the back, right. which I would think is maybe a little bit more common than some of the other, show us the, the, the side well, teeth. Well, if you're missing there. one tooth, then you can um, very quickly put an implant in there. The titanium but, post is in place right in the available bone in the gum. Right. And the tooth affixes right, right there. To and then on the side, you have a few teeth there. You have a. Uh, you have four in here that can support three teeth, and uh, you can have this on the same day. Same day, yeah. the mini dental implant. It is five times less, less invasive, less discomfort, less healing time, less visits to the dentists, less expensive, FDA approved. Dr. Sandra Lowe, we're gonna tell everybody again, 115 East 61st Street in here in New York, 212-752-1430, nymini-dentalimplants.com. Thanks for making our smile better, for changing our life, oh, Dr. You're Lowe. welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. All right, good luck to you and good luck to you out there. Thanks for watching Innovations in Health.